Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to you if you're new here. A very, very, very warm welcome to you if you're new here. Guys, if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support, guys. Thank you so much. I really can't thank you enough. Thank you for engaging in my previous videos. Um, I really do appreciate it, guys. Once again, warm welcome to everybody. So guys, today I just thought, let me just do, let me hop in and do a, I could say a renovation update, you know, regrets, pros and cons thus far. Also guys, can I just put a disclaimer, or is it a disclaimer? Sorry guys, I'm going to try and talk as loud as I can because I forgot my microphone at my place, so... Yeah, please try and bear with me if you can hear me. I'm also not the loudest person on earth. So yeah, but I'll do my best. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, this video as per title of the video, it's just a renovation update. Um, what I've enjoyed thus far, what I haven't enjoyed, recommendations, if I can, if I would recommend some of the people or things. I made a list of some things that I wanted to talk about just so that i don't forget anything so yeah let's jump into it i hope it can be as candid as possible guys i'm not much i'm not much of a speaker or i'm not a fan of um or not, not even a fan i'm not um i'm not the best public public speaker let me put it that i'm not the best public speaker and i don't like talking guys in pretty long but anyway i'll definitely try my best so yeah guys let me just give you a bit of context um if you're new here if you've hopped onto the bag wagon bandwagon so basically guys i recently moved and um where i moved to really needed a lot of renovations but i already knew that when i was going for the viewings and that was one of the reasons why I took it, you know, so yeah, I already knew what I was getting myself into. I had a thorough look at the place and so I was very much prepared going into the next phase. So anyway, the tenant moved out, I think in, in August, ne? and then end of August, was it end of August? Yes, it was end of August, if I'm not mistaken. No, I'm lying. No, I'm lying, guys. It wasn't end of August. It was end of July when he moved out because I got my keys beginning of August, mid-August. And then I started working on my place at about towards the end of August, beginning of September. So, yeah, so that's what was basically going on. I also haven't moved in fully yet. I'm still one foot there and one foot here at home. So guys, I hope the lighting is not too bad because it's in the evening now. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, I'm still one foot in at my new place and one foot in here at home. So, okay, so on that, guys. Um, I haven't moved in properly. Um, I guess I haven't moved in properly because there were some things that i was not willing to move into um our new place without fixing them i'm going to try and put in some footage as well as we move along some things were just beyond repairs guys um like for instance the kitchen the and uh, the, 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 the the kitchen sink that cupboard underneath guys was literally rotten but i'm also going to i'm still going to do like a kitchen update um video um so you'll also see some of the so don't be surprised if you see some things here and then you see them again on that video um yeah so the kitchen needed to be sorted um the bathroom the bathtub needed to be sorted the bathroom cabinet as well needed to be sorted because i think the the pipe in the bathroom cabinet had a hole in it not, not even i think i saw that it had a hole in it the plumber was showing me that it had a hole in it so water kept on seeping in there so that thing was very wet and it, it was wood well, it, it, yeah it was wood so you can imagine how horrible that looks so yeah i hope i'm not blabbering but yeah 
those kind of things needed to be changed the flooring needed to be changed guys i think you've seen the flooring and i'm also going to still do another video as well for the flooring just dedicated to doing the flooring um essentially the whole plan was to tile the whole house but you know guys matla ha you know that's why so i needed to prioritize or which one am i going to do first you know so in the lounge and the bathroom the kitchen are this i mean and in the lounge and the bathroom tiles are the same and then the only different tiles is the bedroom and it's, it's the two bedrooms so i didn't want it like that but you know things don't always turn out the way you want them to so and that's another thing that i had to learn Jorge. you know things take time you know things take time and it doesn't mean well i had to tell myself that Jorge, it doesn't mean you're a failure if things have not taken place when you wanted them to take place so i'm i'm slowly getting to understand that concept myself Sorry guys, I just wanted to change something. So I, I had to understand, Jorge, Rome wasn't built in one day, you know, one step at a time and eventually you'll get there. You know, not everything's going to be perfect and at the time that you want it to be perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm learning that. So like I said, most of the things are done and I'm half moved in that side. It's just that you're constantly reminded of the things that need fixing when you're there but of which is a good thing i feel like once you're there then you see what actually needs to be done and then that way you've got a clearer picture and that way okay now which one takes priority in my budget okay level some things you can like i said you can carry on without them but other things and how you can't see that um something needs to be changed so what are the pro the pros in this whole situation um you know guys at some point i got to a point where i was actually angry at the previous tenant who used to stay here because the mess and the damage that they did to that property it kind of made me angry and till today some days i honestly get so angry at him and i'm like Ugh. you know sometimes guys they always say hore if you want to rent out your property then you must know that it's the end of your property because sometimes guys sometimes i'm not saying all the time sometimes people who who rent like both senior daddy and talk guys and you'll never understand why you know so i feel like this person really really um messed up this place guys the 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 the, the 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 wardrobe in the kids bedroom guys it's like somebody literally forced the door to fall off because it's even broken there by the hinges it's torn off to be exact both the bedroom window i mean both the bedroom doors i beg your pardon did not have door handles instead they had holes inside the doors at the bottom were broken Ay, guys i don't understand some people they were broken the the toilet seat is broken oh guys it's a lot you know as much as it's, it's exciting because it, it, when you look at it in the other on the other hand it gives you an opportunity to do things the way that you want them you know so it's like your own style granted but you know what your own style doesn't come cheap guys it doesn't come cheap you know i feel like this previous tenant honestly robbed me of just moving in and just enjoying the moment you know i feel like i had to work so hard before i moved in you know and like i said yes it's a good thing and a bad thing but i feel like i was robbed of that of just give it like a dule, take it all in i'm only taking it all in now that i've fixed everything you cannot everything but almost everything you know Hello, go 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 go. I saw I saw Bali. You know, I'm not running away. I'm just going back, gathering some strength, and then I'm going back again. Kilo se kilo se I can go to the mall. I saw Bali. I go to the So I go to the mall, and then obviously I'm going to finish off whatever is left. 
But I just thought, let's share this journey because, like I said, Rome was not built in one day and not everything is going to be perfect. And I hope that you guys can understand that and I hope that I have that kind of community. I understand that I'm horrid take time guys you know already Hollywood you are so hard on yourself that why is it not going the way that I wanted to go anyway I think I've derailed um, yeah but I was still telling you so that was one of my pros that um, at least you get to create your own space the way so that's what I loved about uh, that's what I'm still loving about this process you know if I it, it's a pity that my phone deleted the other footages but I would have loved to show you a before and after but where I can and as we move along with the renovation videos I'll show you the befores and afters if I do still have them I'll really really do my best because then I also like watching like transformation videos so I'll definitely show you there um, and then what else is a pro I guess it's that it's, it's just your own space and the biggest pro actually is just seeing my kids reaction guys you're seeing my kids reaction and knowing that you know they have their own space now you know and yeah knowing that god did that for me to achieve this for my children you know um i'll come back to the pros if i remember them ne? but let's move on to the cons guys i don't know if maybe cannot complain on a whole but one of my cons was that guys if you're gonna do and this is just a suggestion guys i'm not saying i know it all just because now i'm doing it no i'm not saying that i'm just giving you through my i'm giving you my experience guys you know this thing yeah who getting somebody like, yeah find like getting referred to someone referring someone that is an absolute no guys for me all the people that i got from somebody else did a horrible job guys they did a horrible job the man who did my painting guys in the house did a horrible job you know although i'm gonna try and show you um no because this video needs to come out on sunday um but maybe yeah that'll be like a later later on video but basically he didn't paint the cornices properly so you know he was under the impression that he's going to be a construction company in my house you know so he didn't paint the cornices properly because i, I mentioned guys that i'm going to change it but i didn't say when so now he just like what like like a paint he literally just played with the paint on the corners so like he didn't paint it properly like in line or even if i'm not changing the cornices now i can still um i can still afford not to change them now but the way he painted them is horrible guys and then i bought doors for the bathroom and the bedrooms guys this man did such a botch job when they install the tiles the kids door now cannot close properly um the bathroom door like every time you close it you literally have to fight with the door to close it i don't know whether he put too much paint on it or what and then you know the door name i get it's your two handles on the side and then there's that mechanism here in the middle that um closes the door so when your door is closed you can still close it and then when you lock it as well that mechanism there guys tell me why this man painted that door mechanism so i had to wait for the paint to dry and then i just had to like um use my knife just to like break the seals of the paint so that the doors can open properly open and close properly um the doors make a noise when you close and open them oh guys i would suggest that never get somebody who is referred by somebody to you yes in some cases it does really help but in most cases like in my case unfortunately it didn't help so my mother was like no call him again but i was just like i don't want him back in my space because first of all he's a loud man 
and I don't know if I'm the only one who's ever experienced this, but sometimes these construction people, when they do work for you, um, guys, especially if it's a man who's servicing a woman, you know, like in my case, this man was doing work for me, you know, to a point where he even told my mother, he's like, I can't believe that my boss is a, is a little girl. That's a little girl is me guys. You know, so today a lot of things he do that he didn't do them properly because of the inferior complexity, if I may call it that, you know. So you must be careful, guys, who who works in your who who can who you allow into your space. I know sometimes it's just like um what's it's it's wishful thinking, you know, and a lot of people will tell you just find your person, but the job will be done. But you know, guys, honestly, and this guy, uh, this man, I had a very bad feeling about him, you know, but I still gave him the benefit of the doubt because he was referred to me by a man who is very dear to me, you know. So for 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 this man to refer this man to do these things. I mean obviously I trust this man's opinion, you know, but you know, that man came there and he just botched the job, you know. So I would suggest that rather find a complete stranger that you don't know because Mole La Patalana, you make an agreement, Basebeta and they leave. You know, and then if they have Bausebe Handle, they can come back, you know. But honestly, I would rather suggest that you get somebody that you do not know because sometimes people get too familiar, guys. They get too familiar and they can't even hide it, you know. And then, um, speaking of contractors and speaking of finding somebody. Oh, I did that with my tiles for my for the bedrooms. Ne? I met a man with CTM. He did my tiles. But guys, again, it's the subtle disrespect that these men have when they find that they're working for a young lady. I don't know what happens to them, guys. I honestly don't know. You know, because now they were starting to make snide comments, telling like, and the the sad part is that they couldn't even whisper. You know, the other one is like, yo, here comes this, here come, here come the annoying children. And I was like, what annoying children? This is their house, you know? And the thing is happy. You don't want to make too much noise with them because you don't want them to do a proper, you don't want them to botch the job that they're doing, you know? So a lot of things you have to just stomach for while they're there. And then you can raise your concerns after they've left, you know? So I found that I had to be mute a lot of times, you know, for the sake of the job to be finished and for them to do a proper job. But the tile guys, I was just annoyed by that. Um, there was a bit of, you know, but I won't lie. The, the tiles guys, the job was proper. I won't lie. The tile guys, job was proper. The tiling in the bedroom, in the bedrooms, would i work with them again no guys i wouldn't because tell me why these men they finished late but i can i also take blame for that we were supposed to meet up with them at eight o'clock and i only met up with them at 10 o'clock because of delays guys you know but Shem, i did i did apologize to them and um they did start working like immediately when we got to the house and then they only finished at about seven o'clock guys so you must remember uh, I still had to drive back home, like to my mother's house. And this was at night, guys, seven o'clock. They're like, no, can you please drop us off, go so to And I'm like, it could never be me. Yeah, you can see that the sky is full of women. We must still go to Soweto. So you understand, like, Banyatana, guys. Oh, Banyatana, those people. Um, Yeah, those were my, were my cons. Um, And then moving on to my regrets, guys, you know, I regret the way that i started everything you know now that everything is almost done i think i would have done things like not even i think i definitely would have done things more differently like in the sense of i started with the painting first around the house and in essence now that i look at it the painting was supposed to be the last thing i guess you know so Basically, I started with the painting and installing the doors, and then I went down to the flooring. For me, I feel like that was a bad decision. I feel like I should have started with the tiling first, 
and then go to the door because obviously the door needs to be trimmed according to the tiles and then only go to the walls and paint because at least after that the again the cement from the tiling has dried and then that way they can also cover that cement because i know my cement um my tiling sorry my flooring because i asked them to do the skirting with the tiles so you can still see that there's a bit of that great um cement so i still need to go over that again and then you must remember that i've painted already so the walls were dirty you know so i think in essence i should have started with the flooring and then the doors and then the painting um yeah those were yeah that's one of my regrets and then another pro actually when i moved into the place now guys the ceiling the the geezer had burst ne? but from what i hear that they did fix it and everything but i feel like they didn't fix the ceiling properly because in the lounge and in the kids bedroom i can see that the the, the, the roof is something like caving in a bit you know so i called the um, the body corporate so i i think it's going to be on their account guys it's gonna be on their they the ones who are gonna sort it out so i'm i'm crossing my fingers guys that the body corporate um sorts that out so then that way at least i will tackle doing a new ceiling or well, fixing my ceiling and getting a new ceiling at the same time because the ceiling does have holes in certain areas so I'm, the way that i'm interpreting it i feel like maybe the previous tenant made holes there so that um the water can be drained out of the of the of the ceiling so i'm crossing my fingers guys the body corporate needs to fix that ceiling yeah but i've got hope that they'll fix it because when i was taking home insurance they were telling me that the body corporate insurance is responsible for the um home for the structure of the building you know so and uh, from what i heard it's the giza and the everything to do with the giza burst ceiling then the body corporate is responsible for that so i won't say much on that but if it does happen then obviously i'll keep you informed but yeah i'm hoping for the best for that and then what else did i want to say um just looking at my list here oh yeah another thing that i want to mention guys but i think i mentioned it at the beginning of this video is that things do not happen overnight you know and whatever you can work with work with it up until you are in a position where you can replace it fix it or repair it fix and repair same thing because for me i had a huge i had a hard time adjusting to the fact that i can't change certain things you know and it used to irk me so much but i needed to sit down with myself like let me give you an example my kitchen unit is done but i still need the tiles for the backsplash for the kitchen because they broke those tiles you know and my glass of kopani guys my glass of kopani and my kitchen looks beautiful you know my kitchen looks beautiful and i'm just like oh you know if only my kopana like as in right now so that i can put in the backsplash of the kitchen you know but i just told myself that you know i take your time it will happen you know don't rush it so i think that was the biggest um issue that i have with myself that i was very impatient with myself you know but hanyani, hanyani, i'm like you know what the kitchen is functioning properly so go for it you know um and then another thing as well is that i had bought well i bought um a gas stove hob you know so i don't know call me ignorant or no don't call me ignorant i didn't know it's just that i didn't know you know um i didn't know that when you install a gas stove that you need professional gas stove installers you know but with me it's just the hob just the top part so the oven is going to be an electrical oven and then the top part is going to be a gas stove hob you know so i didn't know that you need an electrical i mean you need a coc certificate and you need a professional team to come install the 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 stove for you and the gas cylinder you know so that's money as well you know so 
the stove that was wor the, 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 the previous stove is still working but not properly but I was just like you know what it, it works it can cook only like two plates work guys the two small plates work but I was like you know what that's a better make use of what you have one step at a time and then in my bathroom as well I recently changed the bath I think I'll also give you a video on that I recently changed my bath tub because I don't know what that person was doing that bath tub guys and then they messed up with the bath taps ne? so I needed to change the bath tub and the kit then the bathroom cabinet like I mentioned that there was water that kept on dripping slowly but slowly so oh, that thing was horrible anyway I changed the bathroom cabinet in the bathroom I changed the bathroom cabinet and the sink and the tap and then I also changed the bath tub and the bath tap um, so I'm happy about that so on the bath obviously like the first line of tiles was chipped so I need to I do I still do have tiles left over from the bedroom tiles so I just need somebody who's going to install that just that first line guys you know right now my bathroom looks like a mess but I had to tell myself oh you are here for the long haul so with no lookies you know again I had to remind myself don't be hard on yourself you know so yeah but I'm just glad that the bathtub is changed um and the bathroom cabinet and the sink and the and, and the tap so yeah guys otherwise i'm still enjoying this journey um like i said you know it's such a blessing it's such a blessing of a journey hence i always say project come how you know honestly it's by god's grace um so to sitting at the I've just made a decision that like when I do my kitchen unit is finished um, I feel like I will give you the the, the, the the kitchen tour and eventually I'll give you the house tour as well you know because I was I was feeling a bit like um, it is the word not con yeah I wasn't confident you know I was like Ish, but details are the but there's no um, backsplash to kitchen in me, you know, but it's the tiles in the bathroom are not proper, you know, you know, but I had to remind myself for me, it's, it's the, the beauty of everything is the imperfectness of everything, you know, nothing is perfect in life. Those little imperfect moments get to honor, they say it's like the perfect moment, if I can put it that way, it's the perfect moment, the perfect memories, you know it are the perfect um it's are everything worthwhile you know so i will give you um a home tour when i do get a chance um yeah and then i also want to say that i am going to be taking part in vlogtober so please do support my 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 thing guys my my videos please please guys please do like my videos when you watch them even if Ufita fell for five minutes, guys, please, I'm pleading with you. Please like my videos, guys. Please like my videos. And if you can, if or if you don't want to say anything, just drop maybe an emoji or something because I understand Kilawana, some people like don't like typing and that's okay. You know, that's okay. Because Linda, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos. It's just that sometimes I don't like typing, you know, but if and when I can, I do leave a comment. Um, I do leave like maybe a little emoji so please guys get a look over if you can um, yeah guys so I just thought that seeing that the video that was supposed to go up today I moved it to the 1st of October because vlogtober um, I thought let me just give you let me just hop in here and give you um, just some feedback and a little update about what's happening so yeah guys i hope that you're also enjoying them and i hope that through my story that you know that you know god is faithful god does make a way and god does reward you back what you lost you know all the years that the locust um ate or had eaten 
God restores, guys, and more than you think. Yeah, guys, I'm done. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Like I said, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Please like the video. Please leave an emoji if you can, if you don't want to type, or else please type something nice, guys. Anyway, get a little Oh, guys, wait, I've also got a um, I just recently started a home page Leona I'm not too sure how it's going to plan out but it'll be um, a good journey you know um, I just thought wow it used to be my makeup page but I turned it into my home page because I was just like just to also document the memories as well for myself you know one day I said the way that I'm hoping that you can then you know so I'm just gonna put my home page here it is called Lapping Hasenueno meaning at home at the Sinuelos, yes, that's how you say it. At home, at the Sinuelos. So, lapping has Sinuelo. So, yeah, guys, please do go ahead and like, I mean, and follow me, follow my home page on Instagram, guys. I hope that you will enjoy the content that I share there. Um, like I said, be kind to yourself. And yeah, guys, stay well. God bless. I'll see you on the next project. Kamuhao, guys. Bye for now.